Oh, oh my goodness, look who's here! Elmo! We were just talking about you. I, I heard somebody say my name! Yeah, we were talking about you. I wanted to show you the balloon version ah! of you. What do you think? What is that? It's a balloon, a giant balloon of you. No! Why don't you like it? I thought you'd be excited. You're replacing Elmo! I'm not replacing you. Look, I thought it's a, it's just, I thought you'd be honored that they make a giant balloon of you. You like him because he's as tall as you? No, I got him because I thought you would be excited. It's not to replace you, it's a balloon, Elmo. No, I like Elmo no more! I guess I do like you, but it's just a balloon of you. Like, I thought you'd be excited. I wish there was a balloon version of me, or no, I don't, that'd be weird. But I think it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, what a laugh. Well, what are you up to? Emma, Emma, Emma doesn't know what to think about that. Thank you, Broom Hatter. Sorry, I just saw that. That my daddy? It's not your dad. It's a balloon, Elmo. It's not real. I just thought you would think it's cool. Because it's a giant version of you. I thought that was cool. Get it? It's a balloon. That's all. Okay. You're not replaced. You spent a money on that? Yeah. It's not real? Yeah, I got It's a decoration. How much? I don't want to tell you. You you have lots of money? Can I have money? Elmo wants money. You can have like five dollars. Elmo, can you go in your purse and take all your money? Wait, 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 wait. Before you go, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Elmo, stick around for a minute because I think... What? For some reason, people seem to like you here. And Thank you? Yeah, and so I was wondering if I could ask you some questions and we can try to get to know you a little better. You want me here? Yeah. That's different. Yeah, so can I ask you some questions? You want to ask me a question? Yeah, what, well, what are some of your interests? My interests? Yeah, what do you like to do? Um, wow, you're putting Elmo on the spot. Well, I just, I want to know. Don't you guys want to know? I want to know. Okay, um, well, hmm. I'm thinking. Elmo likes a lot of things, is a thing. Well, we all do, but what are some things you like to do? Uh, vinyl, vinyl records. Oh, okay, I didn't expect that. Do you like vinyl records? Yeah, I have some. Okay. Do you have some? What so, you, what do you, you have? have what, what's your vinyl record you have? Well, I mean, I have some that are video game soundtracks. I have some from bands I like. I don't know if you know the bands. I don't know what you listen to. Uh, oh, you <laughs> lots of stuff. Oh. Uh, and Elmo likes Pokemon cards. Okay. And that, okay, that's interesting. Witchcraft. Of course, that that seems fitting. Painting rocks with celebrity faces. That I'm intrigued by that one. Elmo just made Tiffany Brissett from Small Wonder. Oh, is that the is that the little girl that's a robot? Yes. Wow. Okay. Yay! Elmo likes to paint. That's cool. So you like to paint? Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah. I love painting. Uh, Elmo paints miniature figurines of vultures, horned lizards with pentagrams on them, drake keepers, shapeshifters, xenomorph wasps, zerg queens. I like Starcraft. Uh, I I use only one hair of a goat to do the fine detail on the wasp cocoons. Wasp cocoons? Yes. Elmo paints them at Bert and Ernie's house. Bert okay. Bert likes to paint pigeons while Ernie takes hot baths. Like, uh, does he paint, like, on pigeons? Or, like, he paints pictures of pigeons? Ernie locks the door. Well, if he's taking a bath, he probably doesn't want you barging in. What's he doing in there? What's Ernie doing in the bathtub? He's probably think? crying. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you shouldn't laugh. You should probably. ask him if he needs to talk. No. Okay. Well, you see. No. Okay. Calm down. See, you, you're always a little too high strung. Is there anything you like to do that calms you down? Like read. before bed, you like to read. Reading. Yeah. What do you read? Uh, Elmo. Elmo reads sometimes to calm down. Okay. Elmo's been reading the Dumb and Dumber movie quiz book. Okay. And Clockwork Orange. That that makes sense. And that makes sense. Cliff, Cliff is a dog a day with Dad. Oh, because he's red. Yes. Oh, oh, you understand. Yeah, I and, get it. And the movie, the book novelization of Coneheads with Dan Aykroyd. I, I didn't know there was a novelization of Coneheads.
Okay. It's a funny comedy. Okay, so you like so you like comedies. I didn't know you had a sense of humor because you're you know you're kind of um, who doesn't have a sense of humor? Kind of dark, but um, red, not dark. <laughs> Do you know any good jokes? <laughs> I was afraid to ask that. Do you know any good jokes? I don't know what Elmo's gonna say. You want me to tell you a joke? Yeah, tell me a joke, Elmo. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Elmo knows all kinds of jokes. <laughs> You want me to tell you a joke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me a joke. Okay. Um, I'm scared, you let me, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Let me think for a second. Okay, how about this one? I got one. This is not a knock-knock joke. Okay. Let me know if you've heard this already after I've told it. Okay. Okay? Because it's probably a popular one and everybody's probably heard this one, but I'm going to say it anyway. Okay. Okay. So there was a man from the catacombs in France who, who loved his job as a cradle of the crayon taste tester. He loved his job. And he also loved driving trains, even though he wasn't a conductor. He loved the trains so much, and he loved to drive them as fast as he possibly could. But unfortunately, one day, the train was too fast, and it caused a big collision. And he made it out alive, but there were many injuries. Needless to say, there was a court case over this, and he was found guilty and sentenced to death by electrocution. But instead, of the four horsemen of the apocalypse came down and cast a lightning spell, and sparks were flying out of his skull and his eye sockets. He lived through the experience, and he was allowed to go free. Okay. He even managed to get a job as a train conductor again. And he, and, he, and, he, and he, but he didn't learn his lesson, and he did the same thing again. Once again, racing the monster train down at high extreme velocities, huge explosions. Every, the car, the train blew up, all the trains blew up. It was a circus train filled with 2,000 monkeys. For his final meal, he ate simple puffs with white cheddar cheese Cheetos and caramel empanadas. And he requested a final movie, too. What was the movie? Cruel Intentions with Sarah Michelle Gellar. Oh, okay. His favorite color was red. It... Okay, that was the that was a joke. I like that joke because I'm red. I, I get don't, it. I don't know. That... <laughs> I feel like that was. <laughs> oh, that joke kills every time I tell it. I want Sesame Street. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't know what just happened, but I think I think I need a break. Um, why don't you go take five dollars out of my purse and go have some fun, okay, for a belated birthday gift? I need to buy pins. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do with the pins? Oh, don't don't tell me. What are you gonna do? Oh God, I shouldn't know. I'm gonna put them in that fucker over there. No. That's, that's what I'm gonna do. No, you can't. You can't. You can't pop him. It's Emma not doesn't like for it. You. Emma doesn't like it. Call Emma doesn't like it. Get out of here. Stealing money now! Stealing money! Jesus Christ! Stealing money! <sighs> Alright, well that was a visit from Elmo. I wasn't- I didn't really know what to expect his reaction with this balloon. But I didn't think he was gonna have that reaction. Anyway, I missed some subs and stuff, so let me scroll up and see what I missed. <laughs>